Hello folks, and thanks for joining me for another reading on the Freemasonic Knowledge Channel. And today's reading will be titled, At the Sound of the Gavel, by Mary A. Cumming of Daystar Lodge, published in behalf of the Brooklyn Masonic Temple, by permission of the most worshipful Grandmaster, Townsend Scudder, and the Brooklyn Masonic Guild. At the Sound of the Gavel by Mary A. Cumming Again convened as brethren true, we stand together, each for all, with all for each when that is due, and truth and justice sound the call. O fellows of the mystic tie, exponents of the faithful breast, who under the all-seeing eye have, come, have through all trials borne the test. Tis well to meet as brethren should, in loving converse hand in hand, no thought but for the common good, a loyal and fraternal band. The youngest suppliant at our gates, who gropes towards the promised ray, in trembling hope his fear abates when prayer precedes his onward way. Assured his trust in God alone is founded on eternal right, with willing feet he follows on the rugged path that leads to light. Rapt inspiration fires his soul when urged to play as best he can. In humble constancy, the role of brother and of upright man. Across the mosaic pave he heads a second time with anxious care, but guided skillfully he treads the steps that lead to learning fair. Art, architecture, science, skill, the lyre, the story of the spheres, are dwelt upon and traveling still, an outer gate at last appears. A warrior judge who stayed the tide of Ephraim's vindictive war proclaims how plenty may abide while adding luster to his store. The inner portal's welcome space is safely passed and now reveal in middle chambers precious, specious grace the master craftsman's skill and zeal. Stern visage time with chainless, changeless speed Brings changes to all things below Creation's miracle, the seed From which all things created grow The atoms progress to the cell The cell's fruition in the shoot Still moving upwards these foretell The dawn of reason in the brute Thus redent science would re unroll as record of the architect, how man becomes a living soul and stands before his God erect. The heat, the storm, the winter's cold teach primates in their bitter need, with leaf and branch to build a fold, where sheltered they may thrive and breed, to fend the wile of savage foes, or guard his brood from savage beast, the rude defense more seemly grows as wants and knowledge are increased. The dread volcano's belching stream with dire destruction fills the air, the thunders roar, the lightnings gleam, the earthquake's desolating share. The mind untutored fins in these malignant purpose, Hence in fear, with hideous rites would fain appease, devouring demons lurking near. So priesthood aims to guide the feet of such as faltered by the way, to temples raised in form complete, the wonder of a later day. War's devastation and the hand of ruthless ignorance in time, with cold and heat and drifting sand, the ravages of greed and crime have raised and leveled many a fame. And many a monument and tower which skill and industry have lain with utmost genius and power, nor was there spared the temple raised in the city of the shepherd king, to one whose name is ever praised with bended head or folded wing. Yet though the lapse of time and tide are marked by wreckage on the shore, and works of man may not abide, but crumbling surely are no more. Through 
Leading generations pass, and kings and kingdoms rise and fall, their cities buried neath the grass, Freemasonry survives through all, and lives to shed its glowing rays in ever spreading grace and power, till all mankind shall sing its praise and hail its universal dower. O brethren of the mystic tie who take these lessons to the heart, the working tools may here apply as inspiration to impart faith love and hope to raise a fane more glorious than that of yore which flourished on the judean plain where cadron's placid waters pour may a dom abdomnition kindly spell in truth to the attentive ear while in the faithful bosom dwell masonic mysteries so dear a kindly warning waits on those who seek the upper chamber's art, and holy promise at the close lends comfort to the faithful heart. For all the mystic veil concealed is one, and knowledge is increased by glory of the lights revealed as one approaches from the east. While lesson of the Nephilite and mimic tragedy is born, upon the mind is solemn right recalls resurrection morn speak softly yet in accents clear with reverence due for one who fell of all the craft assembled here choose of our best who is to tell no song or story ever rolled by minstrel scald or troubadour of martyr knight or warrior bold in peace or war on sea or shore at deeper pathos nobler strain to urge the assault all soul in high degree then reads masonic hero slain defending his integrity from labor to refreshment's care o brethren of the mystic tie the widow and the orphan's share is ours to render and apply and ours a weaker brother's woe to lessen with a timely aid as would reap so must we sow in mighty love hath as hath been said, the square, the plummet, and the gauge are at our hands to wisely raise, a structure lined on a trestled page where justice reigns and wisdom sways. Fair emblem, gift of chaste design, theme of Masonic heraldry, in fellowship of grace divine. Incline our hearts to purity, so when our ebb of tide shall come, and from our nerveless hands shall fall life's working tools as nearing home. We tremblingly obey the call where the great craftsman holds his state. May we be greeted by the word of welcome at yon open gate that leads to glory of the Lord. And I thank you for joining me.